she was like, you know what, the things that he's saying about my daughter, my 11 year old daughter, or 12, you know, young daughter. Yeah. The things that he's saying about these elementary school children, not even just her daughter, but like her daughter's friends and things. Yeah. And boys and girls. So she was like, this stuff is inappropriate and not okay and completely freaks me out. So she started recording things and yeah. I mean, but but to be like dating him and be like, and like just be recording everything. I don't know. Like, even though he was doing something wrong, even though he was doing something wrong and I'm not defending him, I'm just saying that's really fucked up to just record everything. Oh, they played some of the recordings on the Dr. Phil Oh, I'm sure they did. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know about it if they didn't play it on Dr. Phil. (laughs) Uh, that was an intense episode. I bet. I just went to ludicrous speed. Damn it, okay. I have to go onto Twitch on my phone. I was trying to avoid it. I have low battery. Well, not super low. I'll be... Well, you could charge it. There's a charger, like, around here. Well, I have enough, probably, to last the rest of this. Um, even if I don't, though, I can switch my battery. That's not That's not a big deal. Um, anyway, we were talking about Florida Man. So, yeah, Florida Man, it, like, there are crazy people in Florida. So, there are newspaper headlines that go, like, Florida Man does this. Um, and, oh my god, it is the wackiest bullshit you have ever done seen. What, what, did, what did my Tika say? Oh, no, it was just me. <laughs> oh, okay. I sent a smiley face to the chat. <laughs> All right. Um, but, yeah, it is the craziest bullshit you have ever done seen. Such as uh, famous headlines that uh, I, I, I know offhand. Uh, Florida man assaults quadriplegic with fish. That is a real headline. <laughs> Assaulted him with a fish. Quadriplegic. That means he does not have arms or legs to, to use to defend himself. Um, or such as um, enlightenment. Okay. Eighth lifetime. Jesus, how fucking long is this game? I Maybe feel you're like, a cat? I feel like I'm watching the Doctor Who opening. <laughs> like it's not as swirly. My ankle cracked. It's not as swirly, but you get what I mean, though. You can see it. I see more of 12's opening, but yeah. It's still Doctor Who, but... (sighs) Why do you have to nitpick? Why do you have to nitpick? Because I didn't say specifically 13's, or 12's, or 11's. There isn't a 13 yet! Will you stop it with this? I will not. I politely decline. Fuck out of here. Not to mention, uh, Capaldi is leaving. Yeah, but he's technically still the doctor. As of right now, he's still the doctor. I don't work in technicalities. (laughs) As of right now, Peter Capaldi, the 12th doctor, is still the doctor. Oh god, this is so mind-bending. Okay. Uh, yes, my Tika, I am glad that you are still listening. Oh, goddammit. Just, just freak them out. Just <laughs> like, I feel like this will be a fun time to mention hedgehogs. Man, in, uh, Florida man admitted to hospital because of uh, hedgehog and butt. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Is that what it is? Um. So at my house, we now have two hedgehogs. 
Cyndaquil, and Star-Lord, also known as Peter Quill. Uh, I call them small spiky potatoes. Because <laughs> when they ball up, they just look like little potatoes. Little potatoes. Um, small potatoes? Yes, small potatoes. Did you ever watch that show? What? That was a show? That was a show. It was called Small Potatoes, and it was just all songs. And then they had a Fuck movie. Fuck out of here. And then they had a movie that was like a behind the scenes on the band, and it was like really uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, they were very mean-spirited to each other. It was just like, why? I mean, what I'm very mean-spirited to everybody all the time. No, 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 there's a difference. Because, like, they were a band, and this was, like, a Disney children's thing. Speaking of mean-spirited, though, uh, I have a story about work real quick. But I'm, okay. I'm going to talk about it after Hedgehogs. Okay. Um, anyway, so I've noticed that Cyndaquil does not like me. He huffs every time I put my hand near him. So, but, she, so it's just like, ah, this bitch again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but Star-Lord doesn't seem to hate me as much anymore. So that's, that's kind of nice. Oh, that looks like a keyhole. That was neat. Uh, Star-Lord actually let me hold him today. Neat. But... Then he pooped on me. So then Star Lord was confiscated from me. <laughs> less neat. Not as neat. Yeah. Neat less. Uh, so. Oh my god! You know what this is? This is a Kingdom Hearts gummy ship level. Like. <laughs> uh, so my story about work. It, it's not too terrible. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. One of my coworkers. Uh, my coworker's mother was shopping today with my coworker's son. And another coworker checked them out at the register. And I don't know, my, my coworker's son, I guess, like, you know, said something sarcastic to his grandmother. And said other coworker was like, Don't be like that to your grandmother, I'll hit you. And I didn't realize at first that you know that was a family of a co-worker so I looked up and I looked over at her like I gave her crazy eyes I was like I cannot believe you just said that <laughs> and then uh, immediately as I looked at her I realized that it was you know family of another co-worker and then I just started laughing but I just immediately like my immediate response was oh my god why are you saying that to a customer <laughs> Somebody's got to stand up for the grannies that won't stand up for themselves. But then again, um, the way customer service employees speak to customers should never surprise me in any way. I had a manager once, like store manager. Not assistant manager, store manager. And um, I had a customer that was getting angry with me because... She had some Visa gift cards that should have had a certain amount of money on them, but it only had half of what it apparently should have had. And so this woman's, you know, like yelling at me. So I call over the manager and, you know, he's asking what the issue is. And this woman starts screaming at him and he just looks at the woman and he goes, what the fuck is wrong with you? She left all of her shit. Like, immediately. She was like, well, it's not my fault that your uh, employee isn't doing her job right. And he was like, no, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? She's doing everything right. I don't know what your problem is. But you should not be treating her like this. What is wrong with you? And... Pretty much at that point, she just kind of left all of her stuff. Walked away, left all of her stuff. But, um... I mean, act like a bitch, get specked like a bitch, I guess. I could understand why the manager acted that way, but 
also did not find that... No, this was not at my current job, my Tika. This was at the job that I had before my current job. Uh... Oh yeah, but that was just like, I, I understand why he was, I'm pretty sure it was Black Friday, so I understand like why he was being so rude, but then like my next three customers or four customers commented on like, I wasn't expecting your manager to, you know, act like that, but I'm very glad that he defended you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, yeah, one customer one customer actually made a comment uh, saying that they thought that the, the woman was going to jump over the counter and get physical. And not in the good way. Let's get physical, physical. I wanna get physical. Okay, whenever physical. I hear that song, all I can think of is the Glee version. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what the glee, the context for the Glee version was. All I remember was Sue Sylvester made a video mm. of herself doing that song. I believe that. It was a Madonna song, right? Because I remember she had a thing with Madonna. go into this fucking tornado. I'm gonna sky the fuck right. Ugh, I had a dream about a tornado once. Was it awful? Um, well, in my dream, I put my pet rodents all in the basement of this house that, like, was not even my house, mind you. And then the house lifted off the ground. And no. then... There, I was, looked, there was a cow outside, well, and... <laughs> no, there's this girl who's in high school who lives, like, right near me, because uh, basically across the street from my house, there's a small little uh, cul-de-sac, and there's this girl who's in high school who lives on that cul-de-sac. So, in my dream, I walked out the front door and stood there and watched this fucking tornado hit that girl's fucking house. Eat it, girl. And then, no, but she's actually my friend, so like... Dumb. So in my dream, I grabbed my phone after I fucking watched this tornado hit this girl's house. I grab my phone and I start calling her and I'm like, please be okay, please be okay. You know, if you want to, you can come to my house. My house is still all in one piece. <laughs> I'm like, How fucking sensitive of you. <laughs> I'm such an asshole in my dreams. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like this is the last one. Because I know, I'm, I'm recognizing these shapes. These are from all the, the last ones. Uh, all the previous ones. Uh, but that's, that's the kind of dream that I have, like, a lot, honestly. Just a tornado where you're an asshole to other people. <laughs> I'm not usually an asshole, okay? <laughs> I mean... You, you, you're saying it, not me. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I have this dream all the time. I'm well, like, no, like, you hey. have a dream and you're like, hey, if you want to hang out, you can hang out at my house that's not destroyed awfully. <laughs> I, I have dreams often about, like, natural disasters. Yeah, I, I think we all have those times in our lives where we're just like... Or, I mean, I, I know I did growing up. I had, I, a, like I had a lot of fire dreams fire was a constant thing where I, where I was led to believe uh, like cause you know like people are like oh yeah stop drop roll stop drop roll so I was expecting to come more in contact with fire over the course of my life. <laughs> Have I ever told you about the time that I lit my kitchen on fire? No but I feel like you're about to. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> um, well I was making hash browns but I was like it was the first time that I ever made them so I was reading the package instructions on the frozen hash browns. Okay. And I had put some oil in the pan. Oh no. Oh no. Oh darling, you did not start a grease fire, did you? And um I freaked out because it was bubbling, so instead of plate